Kyle, what's going on? 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 Kyle, what's so at that time, I'm like, eh, you know, I planned the mood board around both of them. Y'all can check out the mood board right here. So I had two guys, man. I've been waiting to do a shoot with two guys, man. And so I was like, let's go with this old school urban feel that got outcast in the mood board. I really like Jordan Ward's album cover. So I really like this, that, that simplistic look. I really like blues. So I wanted to kind of revolve around that. So I was gonna start with a blue backdrop. Luckily, man, the guy who stepped in, Jalen Bro, I worked with him a good bit of times and I know he was gonna be a dope muse. And he, he blew me out the water, man. Not gonna lie, he blew me out the water. So man, if you're new to this channel, man, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video. And yeah, man, let's get straight into it. Within this, we really just use two main instruments. So I didn't want to roll out the backdrop at all. I wanted something really simple. So I was gonna go for some portraits. Then I wanted to bring this bench in and that's why I was gonna use both of them in, but it really was dope with him because I was able to get some dope double exposures. So check this out. Double exposure is something that I've been really been testing in, testing the waters for sure. I got one of my good buddies, Ogbar. Uh, his Instagram is from Ogbar. He got some dope work. And uh, he's somebody who was based in ATL and he just got some dope double exposure work and it's just so clean. He shoots with a Pentax. And yeah, man, like he is somebody who definitely pushes me to really test my boundaries in film. Like one thing I'm really looking to get into is Shutter Dragon. So I'm excited to play with that too. And y'all should be seeing that pretty soon. I really liked his style when it came to um, just playing with different angles of his look. You find a lot of models who have a good angle per se or can be insecure about different looks. But it's cool when you have somebody who's very fluent in their perspectives and Seeing him like throwing the glasses and cover his mouth and um, just putting his hands over his face to show his accessories, like different things. I just wanted to really just embrace his personality on camera in the best way that I could. Yeah, it didn't really take too long too. Like literally it took 20 minutes. Like I brought in a ladder, got some overhead perspectives and also too at the end we had um, did some just regular stool shots. So I just had him sit on the stool, give me some nice portraits. And then we kind of just ended off around there, but I really just liked the instruments, the stool, uh, the grass patch that we use, the bench. I really like those things that we use in those 20 minutes. And it was just a cool workflow. Like, and I hate working under pressure. I hate working under pressure, but that was, that was smooth. That was blissful. Like I wasn't paranoid. I knew what I was looking for. And that's why it's so key to do mood boards, man. Like, so you can already know what you're looking for, what you're trying to get. Because it gets difficult, man, if you're running up into a shoot and you don't really know what you're shooting, you don't know what you're getting, you don't even know what your client's wearing. And then you're like, okay, so where am I gonna start? But if you already got those eggs in the basket, you already know where you're gonna go with it. I would, I wish they had something of this grade that had like a higher speed. Um, so I can be more versatile with it because I find myself always having to shoot at a low aperture just because the speed is at 100. But hey, it does its job. I just, I just gotta add more lights <laughs> at this point. But um, definitely would like something with a higher speed. I think that'd be cool. With that being said, man, this is the end of the video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, man. I'm sorry it's been a little minute, bro. Like I said, after that productive week that I had, bro, man, I. I've been chilling, man. I've been chilling, trying to get my energy back right. You know what I'm saying? Meditating, getting, getting the spirit back right. Getting, getting all this energy I've been pouring out through my brain, uh, through my creativity. So we're getting things back on course. Y'all stay tuned for the next video, man. And without further ado, man, keep shooting. Peace. Talk about ATL's hottest new thing. You gotta check this out, guys. Peace. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs>